Would you say you love your body now? Love's a hard question. I'm Alicia McCarville and I am grateful for my body. Can I add beans in there? My relationship with movement is definitely complicated. Instead of people asking me, how do you want to move your body? My life was filled with people telling me I had to move my body to lose weight. When we picked Self Love Lemonade, it was really about showing people that they deserved to show their bodies love. They deserved to spend time on themselves. They deserved to drink water. So when we decided to come out with our next product and our next flavor, we picked Very Grateful because the natural progression for me with my relationship with my body was going from showing it love to really learning how to appreciate everything that it was capable of. When I think back to how I used to move as a kid, I played sports, badminton, basketball, I played volleyball. I have a second degree black belt in Taekwondo. When I think back to movement back then, it was fun. It was rooted in joy, it was rooted in in my choice. Those were things that I chose to do because I loved doing them. And then when I got into university, like most people, you, I was no longer competitive enough to play those sports anymore. I lost all movement. Freshman 15 that everybody talks about turned into a freshman 75 for me. I think that that's where my relationship with exercise. <sighs> Thanks. I think that that's where my relationship with movement was broken. I did everything that I could to shrink my body. And then I did a bikini competition, which I was the smallest I had ever been even at 127 pounds, which is what everybody told me that if I lost weight, I would feel better if I lost weight. I would feel strong if I lost weight. I'd feel good about myself. If I lost weight, I would be happy. And there I was, the smallest that I had ever been, in the worst health, in the worst mental health seat I'd ever been in, the least happy. And the only thing that changed for me at 127 pounds was how other people perceived me, not how I perceived myself. It wasn't until 2017, I think, that Scott, my husband, started powerlifting or trying powerlifting. Um, and he brought me to the gym one day. And I think our first lift we did was a deadlift. And it will forever always be my favorite lift because it was the first time that I got into a gym where my goal wasn't to shrink my body or to change my body or to look a certain way. Powerlifting made me feel strong and it made me feel like my body was capable of really cool things. That was definitely the turning point for me in realizing that I didn't have to feel shitty every time I moved my body. I choose to move by playing basketball in the court during the summer or by going for walks late at night or skipping or whatever I think is going to bring me joy that day and that has truly been the biggest change for movement for me. So when we decided to make the switch to pregame, I wanted to really emphasize the idea that how you move is your choice. Whatever it is, I want pregame to just be the support for you to make the choice that is right for you when it comes to movement and show our bodies that we are grateful for every day that our feet hit the ground. Pre-game is what's gonna help them hit it a little faster and a little stronger and a little better every day. Um, but I want 
you to remember that how you move is your choice. Did you get that? Good. 